All right, guys, so I'm watching the Alex Murdoch. I'm listening to it today. Yesterday, I was able to listen to the trial live with you guys, but I was listening earlier. They're at a break right now. He probably shouldn't have taken a stand, and here's why. He mentioned that he was going through withdrawal symptoms, right? Right before the murders. Is in is it possible when they when his wife and his son approached him about his pill use, he probably freaked out because he was going through withdrawal symptoms and this was like a this this probably wasn't planned. This was like a it's a possibility that he was tripping out. I mean, I've read that this happened before, like heavy withdrawal symptoms and he's not in his right mind. And something was said that probably triggered him and he freaked out and killed his family. I honestly believe like uh, in this particular case, he shouldn't have taken the stand. You know, they say you have the right to remain silent and the, and the jury cannot hold that against him if he decide not to speak to them or not, you know, testify. So this is the first time I've heard that, you know, as far as like his heavy withdrawal symptoms um, leading up to these murders. That could be a possible motive now. He was freaking out, you know, he was going through issues at his job. He was worried about the, the boat wreck situation, you know, financial issues, whatever. And on top of that, added to that withdrawal symptoms and his family approaching him about these pills, pressuring him about these pills. That could have been enough right there for him to freak out and carry out these murders. And also his timeline, he, he, he conveniently um, forgets certain um, details of that day. His timeline, okay, so what he's saying is he went down there to the kennels and a few seconds later, after he got the chicken out of um, Bubba's mouth, he went back to the house. Guys, he, he probably shouldn't have taken the stand. And um, this is, um, like I said before, him taking the stand can make or break his case. The further that uh, Mr. Waters is questioning him, he, you're beginning to paint that. I'm beginning to see the, the clearer picture now on that he probably freaked out and killed his family. Is he a killer? No, he's not a killer. I don't think he's a killer. I think that, um, you know, like he said, his years of uh, withdrawals and going through his years of um, pill abuse and leading up to these murders, him withdrawing and stuff like that and them approaching him about the pills is enough for, for him to probably freak out. That's just what I'm thinking. And uh, this is um, this is hurting him, in my opinion. But we'll see. Like I said, we'll see how the jury takes this information. And um, there was a video saying that yesterday during his testimony, one of the jur two of the jurors were crying. I don't know. That's secondhand information I'm getting. Um, I don't know how true that is. If you heard that, drop a comment below. Um, but yeah, man, this is uh, this is hurting his case, in my opinion, as this plays out. But it's very interesting as he go through the timeline. You know, his I'm watching his facial uh, expressions and everything, his demeanor. He's probably second guessing now whether he should have taken that stand or not, man. But uh, drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel from you watching this today. Is it possible that he just freaked out? He was going. He was withdrawing you know, going through his issues with the pills and they approached him on the pills and he did this. I don't know, is that the motive? Uh, let me know, drop a comment below. And uh, also let me know how you feel so far by watching today's testimony. Guys, do me a favor, please like, share, um, subscribe, hit the bell notifications so and get updated on my latest content as it drops. Guys, until next one, take care.